In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse, sit tight as we dive in. So first and foremost, we are going to create a new document. Then we'll choose a solid color. So we'll copy. So we are going to create another solid color. Once we have that in place, we are going to select the max, grab a soft turn brush, set our foreground to white, increase the opacity to 100 and we are going to make a few clicks. We are also going to create another solid color. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft turn brush. We reduce the opacity a bit. Set our foreground to white. We are going to click. So we are actually painting some back this way. With the layer selected, we reduce the opacity. I'm going to create an exposure adjustment layer. So we are going to create a new layer on top. Grab a soft turn brush. Increase the opacity to 100. Set our foreground to white. And click OK. So with the right bracket key, we are going to increase the brush size and click once. With the move to selected, we are going to change the blend mode to overlay. We are going to reduce the opacity. So now let's go for our files. So first we copy this Ctrl C to copy Ctrl V to paste. So it is right, it is aligned in the middle, yeah. This is aligned in the middle, so we just go for the next the, the rest of the items. Ctrl C to copy Ctrl V to paste. So we are going to position this this way. We drop the layer so that it's beneath it. And we adjust this. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. You drop this layer. We're going to grab the test this time around. We are going to position it at the bottom. Just below all the other items. So we're positioning it this way. Now with this layer selected, we are going to create a curve adjustment layer and clip it onto the layer so the effect applies only to that layer. We're also going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Clip it onto the layer. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. So we are going to grab a soft turn brush. We reduce the size by the left bracket key. We reduce the opacity. 
So we set our foreground to white. And we are going to paint some shadows. So we remove two selected. This is actually looking very flat. So we are going to create a shape behind it so it looks as if it's standing. So with the layer selected, we create a layer below it. We grab a polygonal lasso tool. And we are going to create a selection here. So the selection is actually going to stay behind the image. So with the selection created, we right click and we fill. So we are going to choose color and we are going to copy. Okay, Ctrl D to the select. All right, now we have the shape in place. So we are just going to apply exposure adjustment layers to it. So first of all, we go for shadows and we clip it only to the layer. We clip it on the layer so that the effect applies only to the layer with the mark selected Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft turn brush. Set our, set our foreground to white and we are going to increase the opacity a bit and we are going to paint some shadows is before and after. I'm going to create another exposure adjustment layer and clip it onto the layer. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to unit. We grab a soft turn brush, we reduce the opacity a bit. Then we are going to paint. So we are going to reduce the opacity a bit. So we select the, the exposure adjustment layer for shadows and reduce that one as well. Now we are going to apply some shadows onto all everything around here. So first of all, we select this copy. Sorry, we go for exposure. So first of all, we apply curves. Then we can bring the exposure adjustment layer back. We right click and clip it on, create a clipping mark. So we clip it onto the layer with the mark selected Ctrl I. We grab a soft turn brush. We increase the opacity a bit. Paint some shadows. So foreground is to white. So we are just painting some shadows. This is before and after. Let's reduce the opacity. So we are going to do the same thing for this one. First, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. With the mark selector, control I to invert. We grab a soft turn brush. Four goals set to white and we are going to paint. So we select this items.
Er wird nicht kriegen, das muss er das bei mir. Increase the opacity. There are going to be some shadows. I should use the opacity a bit. So this layer selected. I'm going to create an exposure adjustment layer. First of all, we clip it onto the layer. With the mask selected, control I to invent. We grab a soft turn brush. We are going to paint. So we are going to create a new layer and grab a soft time burst. So we are actually creating content shadows over here. We right click and change the roundness. So with the foreground set to black, we zoom in and we are going to create some content shadows. So we get so we get a new layer. And we are going to some contact shadows. I do. So we create another layer. We make the brush bigger by the right bucket. This is before and after. We will culturally reduce the opacity for everything here. All right, now this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. With the mask selected, control I to it. We grab a soft time brush. Right click and change the roundness to normal. We release our opacity, we set foreground to white. And we are going to paint some shadows. We zoom in and paint some shadows. So we are actually painting just some shadows onto this. You can adjust the opacity anytime the shadow looks way too much. This is before and after. We can reduce the opacity just a bit.
So we set our foreground to black and we are going to erase some path. So with everything in place, I'm going to press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, E to merge all layers. Then we convert to a smart object. We go for filter, camera or filter. And we are just going to play with these settings. Thanks for watching guys, I hope to see you in the next one, until then, stay creative.